Okay guys, so this is a quick Duke Sakellis guide. So I like to pre-pot an Angler, a Super Combat, and a Stamina. And then I fill up the rest of my inventory with Sharks and I use my Ring of Shadows. If you don't have the Teleport unlocked yet, you can use a Weiss uh, Icy Salt, Icy Basalt. And that'll just take you up onto Weiss and then you have to run down into here. It's not too bad, but you'll definitely feel an improvement in the kill per hour once you unlock the teleport. It's a 1 in 25 drop, so it's not too bad. So you want to start this room by walking in and dropping all your fish, or dropping five fish and then grabbing a mortar and pestle. And then you want to run across. If you start on one of these tiles I have marked, you'll skip over all these eye phases, and you just have to pay attention that there's none of the black dots on one of these tiles. So right now we're in the clear. There's one in between, but we won't run over that because running in RuneScape works um, by having you skip the middle tile. So you'll always only run on the tiles that are marked if you start on one of the tiles that are marked. So you can tick manipulate the mushrooms by picking the mushroom and then re-clicking on the stack in the same tick. Uh, it just helps you save a few seconds every prep phase. Uh, I, I like to wait for these to go off before I make a run for it, because if you get hit by one of these, you don't get a perfect kill. So that means the next set will be in on all the tiles marked two. So we know we're safe to just run diagonally up to that other one up there. So we can do this. And we know we won't get hit. And then... That's pretty much the end of the prep phase. Uh, you've got both of your Artemuskas. We know that the next set's going to be on a three, so we can run down here and we can start the fight over on this side. I like to summon my Thralls, put on Piety, and Preserve. And then your first hit can be a spec. You want to make sure you're on Slash and you have Auto Retaliate off. And the way that the Arclight spec works is that it'll lower his defenses by 10%. If you hit, it's a stab attack, so it's not super likely to hit, but it's just a nice boost. Um, and basically, you just attack every time he attacks. And then he has a few special attacks we'll tell you about in a second. So this is the first special attack, is he will throw out that poison thing. You can always hit if you have these tiles labeled hit that I have. Uh, if you have the true tile plugin, you can see when you're about to run over them, and whenever your true tile is on top of those, you can just run straight through it. Uh, Mage Thrall and Range Thrall don't matter too much here. You can just pick whichever one. Mage Thrall hits a tick faster, so it's technically better if you're going for speed and like you need an extra tick. But otherwise, it's not a massive deal. And then... The eye special attack, you can just hide behind the pillars, and the second he starts to slam his arms down, uh, you can just hit him again. So you'll see in a second here, he does the next eye attack. Here, the second he slams his arms, you can click, you can sneak a hit in and walk back. And then you can just keep hitting him. And... Kill should finish off in a second here. And that's the end of the kill. Turn all your prayers off, grab the loot. And then if you want to uh, be fast, you can just click right up here and you'll run straight there. These won't spawn in time. And uh, you can just repeat the prep phase, but you don't have to worry about this part. Okay, hope that helped. Have a good one.